There's no path, and the sky is thick with Vorthry's winged devils. We might consider Amaro, but without extensive training, we cannot hope to contend with the Eaters. Yulmor's airship fleet, meanwhile, consists solely of transport vessels ill-suited for battle. And without the expertise of one such as Sid, we are in no position to attempt a refit. should jolly well come back down to us. Now, now, dearest, we mustn't disturb these good people at their work. We're in the ladder and seen the sights. It's past time we took our leave. The lady may well have the right of it. Mount Gulg will not soon come down to Earth, nor can we compel it to do so. But if the mountain will not come to the land, mayhap the land may be made to come to the mountain. In the form of a Talos. A Talos large enough to reach out and take the volcano in its grasp. That's a pretty big Talos. To build such a golem would be an onerous undertaking indeed. Yet the principle seemeth sound in itself. Boulder Dash! No one has ever made one even half that size. Leaving aside the small matter of logistics, which, by the way, would be no small matter, the design would be unimaginably complex. Though, I suppose, if its only function is to cling to the ruddy mountain, perhaps it needn't be. A solid base, firmly rooted to the ground, sacrifice mobility to simplify the construction, reducing materials required, Wait, 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 what am I thinking? We would still need a veritable army of people to do the work. Left to the crew that helped down below, it would take decades, if not a nice round century. So we need more hands. And what sort of things would these hands be required to do? Oh, uh, well, uh, well, let's see. First, we need people to procure the stone for the chassis. The rock found near the mountain would suit our purposes well enough. It would be a simple task to quarry the stuff, but given the stupendous quantity required, we'd need all the help we can get. We have friends amongst the miners of Armoring. I will go and petition their aid. While you do that, I'll make for Maud Souk. I'm sure I'll be able to drum up some support. Ooh, get the whole. Then I shall return to Calusia. Get everybody. To carpenters, Yulmor is home to all manner of talented folk. I dare say their skills will avail us. Is there anything else you need? Well. Yes, actually. Magic. Lots of the stuff, as much as possible. To awaken a talus of this size would require an entire congregation of mages. Many among the Knights Blessed are gifted in the arcane arts. I will recruit them to our cause. The Faithful, too, possess surpassing aptitude in magics. Yet they are not wont to cooperate in the endeavors of men. Leastwise, not without making all manner of mischief. That being the case, I would instead call upon the people of the Crystarium, with thy permission, Exarch. We are at your disposal, as are our Amaro and Chocobos. I'm sorry. You mean to tell me you can call on not only the people of Yulmor and the Crystarium, but the Knights Blessed, and the Maud, and even those miners? But that's just about everyone in Bally Norvrad. Who are you people? And how did you come to have so many friends?
The artist Alphano and his assistants. The saviors of the world. <laughs> Adventures of no import. The artist Alphano and his assistants. Oh, dearest, have you forgotten already? Alphino told us that when we first met. Um, actually, th that may not have been... Uh, I mean, never mind. Help oh, uh -huh. So, as you can see, you will not want for bodies. I trust you will have your design ready in good time for their arrival. Norvrant is counting on you, heir to Daedalus Stoneworks. Balls to the ground. We'll be back as soon as we can, and we'll bring the whole world with us. Uh, I take it we will be assisting Master Chai, though I am quite sure he has everything under control. He doesn't look too sure. I love it. <laughs> I always love when we get everybody together. Got the whole squad. We're getting them all. Literally everybody. Dula Chai, or Dulia Chai. Have the design ready, she says. In good time, she says. Does she even understand what's involved? Before I can even attempt to design anything, I need intimate knowledge of the land, the knowledge of locals. Last I heard, no one lives here. Oh. God what, a village it. of Yulmoran exiles? Those people have every reason to loathe a free citizen like me. They couldn't possibly be willing to cooperate. This will never work, never. I never should have fixed that ruddy lift. I can't do it, it's impossible. Oh dear, Darling appears to have lost the plot. But he has it in him, Sabric. He's the cleverest man I know, he just wants for confidence sometimes. If you were to give him some words of encouragement, I'm sure he can give you your talus. A bit of advice I learned from his mother, he responds poorly to obvious praise. You need to find another way to stoke the, stoke the fires of his motivation. Awaken his sense of daring. Choose words that will best encourage China's. In order to succeed, you must lift his spirit sufficiently during the conversation. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Let's do okay. It then. Encourage China's. All right. He's plagued with self doubt. I can't do it. No one can. A talus of that size. No one's even dreamed of it. Alpha no one struggled to collect firewood. <laughs> Why would that be? It's true. I mean, that's true. Yeah. Remember with the Stinian and Isail? He did, but he's such a capable lad. That is true. China still harbors some misgivings. But regardless of my own feelings, I can't do anything without help from those villagers, and they're not Bali likely to give it. Crystals among them, you said yourself said so yourself, lest you've forgotten we essentially sent him to his death. That is true. You don't know until you apologize, he'll come with you. Don't worry, he'll forgive you for sure. Things won't improve by themselves, you have to take the first step. I think I got this guy in the bag. Yeah, you know, I know, I know. Unless we take the first step, there can never be reconciliation. This is a chance for everyone to come together, even if they hurled stones at me. Perhaps it's worth trying to apologize. Still harbors some misgivings. But what Rub then? His In back. The end, it's not even a question of forgiveness. Building such an enormous talus is impossible. And even if by some miracle people of Amity were willing to let bygones be bygones, they'd think that the plan is absurd. I think it's absurd. It's less absurd than the change that's come to Yomor in the Britain Castle with a strategy that many would call absurd. Everything you touch turns to gold. No one would doubt your plan. Uh, 
Well, no, to flood the very castle you sought to reclaim. Such a strategy could indeed be considered as absurd. You succeeded in spite, not in spite of, but because of it. Our own strategy may likewise seem absurd, but maybe, just maybe, it stands a better chance of success for it. This guy's putty in my hands. He feels optimistic, but be that as it may, there are risks to consider should the venture fail. I imagine for a moment that we fail to reach Bothri and we'll only succeed in provoking him, and in spirit he may well unleash his hordes of, of eaters and will meet a horrible end. Then we'll go together. I'll protect you, I'll protect everyone. We can build palace for battle. Okay, well, I don't know what to choose for this one. Uh, I'll protect you. Then we'll go together. He, <laughs> he gasped. Gasp. I see what you did there. That's how you went over the masses with that irrepressible aura of dependability. But very well, you've made your conviction clear, and I'm sh assured, in spite of myself, I won't let my fears get the better of me. It's unseemly, if nothing else. I got him, dude. Chinos is burning with motivation. <laughs> I got him. There got he is. Got him. We got him. He's roaring. Hook, line, and sinker. He's ready to go. Yes, yes. By the gods, I can do this. I just need to have a little faith in myself. And there's Dulia. Right, let's head to Amity and speak with the villagers with Tristel. God. My love, things are liable so to become good. more dangerous. I want you to wait for me back in Yulmore. Oh, she says no. She's going with you. You're not the only one who has to apologize. But there's no telling what may happen out there. I don't know if I can keep you safe. Perhaps this is a bad idea after all. I don't think I have what it takes. No, we just convinced you. Oh. Oh. Master Chai, you are beset with doubt. That you are beset with doubt is proof that you can envision... Okay. And that which man can envision, he can make reality. Thus did some old friends of mine once say. Interesting. That's a little idealistic, don't you think? <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Perhaps, Master Chai, perhaps, but what is a man if not an idealistic creature? Tis not an easy thing to achieve one's dreams, my friends confess to that. Countless times did they meet with frustration in the course of their endeavors. None would have found fault with them had they given up, yet they never did. One step after the next, they forged on towards their goals. And, at, and for their determination, they accomplished numerous feats that many believed lay beyond the reach of mankind. Like them, you are a man of science. Amidst your doubts, surely there is a spark of desire, the desire to make the impossible possible. Come, darling, like the old days, I would be the first to see your talus. You shall be, my dear. I would have none other at my side when my greatest masterpiece awakens. Right then, to Amity. To Amity. I am glad my words struck a chord, shall we? He's taking credit. We did that. We did do that. He's we did that. Credit. The Exarch just swoops in and pretends that he did all well, that? We... No. No. Acts like he's the reason he's going. Yeah, right. I Exarch. see my words of sp No. Yeah. We I got every single one right. You, you, you kill stall. Yeah. 